Hey guys, welcome back to S3E3. How y'all doing today? I am fine. Today, the plan is to work on a room for, uh, what do we want to call it? Like, an idea room. You know, I see people always put, like, these bulletin boards in their videos on, like, ideas they have so they don't forget them, which I think it's a good idea. But I want to get you guys involved as well. I'd like for you to uh, throw me any ideas you guys might have. So I'm going to clear out the idea. The idea for actually for this ravine area is I want pa like pathways running along the ravine. So I'm making this pathway out a little bit more. Right now it's like roughly one, two, three, four. I only build in odds. So we're going to have to go about five wide. So right now we're doing four. We need to go one more. So I'm going to uh, clear this out. Continue to keep it lit. And then we'll go down. Uh, we'll try to stick with the curves of the ravine here. It's easier to put the blocks back, I think. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll continue to go with the curves of the ravine. And uh, once I get an area cleared out here, I will bring you guys back and we can take a look at the progress I've made. All right, so I just broke through here and it looks like it comes into like an opening. Which goes down and goes up. Which I don't think I'm actually going to use in the base at all. So this shouldn't be a big deal. Now, how the question is, how big do I want this room to be? Let's do this. Get a floor down here. Now you can get a better look at it. Oops. All right. So what I'm gonna do too is yeah, I cleared out this path. Uh, it's gonna come around. It's probably gonna loop around here and go continue around the edge like that. I'm probably gonna have like little tiny bridges spanning through the uh, the ravine as well. I don't want to make it too cluttered though. Um, I do like the openness of this room, like how high it is. It's kind of cool. I might actually continue to utilize that. I wonder what's up there. Yep. That wasn't good. Oh, there was one of those fuckers. All right. Uh, up here. Yeah, there's more cave. I got a ton of cave to work with, though. I'm not really concerned about it if I block up this area. This goes back to somewhere as well. Oh, is this the way up? No, this is not the way we usually come up. And I think I'm upside down now. We're on top of the roof. Let's get down there. And then get up there. All right. Oh, come on, son of a bee. There we go. Okay, let's figure out how we're going to make this room. You know, I kind of like the, uh, the roundness of it almost, though. Like right here, which could... Like this. That almost and take this out and then we could take out this yeah and then I will have it go back to like a flat wall yep I like it all right let me get it cleared out all right I think this is going to be big enough um, I believe so at least. We're gonna try to build it. I plan on using, uh, it's not just gonna be a simple sign room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little fancy. So, um, we're gonna use some redstone to try to, try to, try some automation here. Not really automation, but, to you know, spice it up. Don't, we're trying to use a lot of redstone in this build because that's kind of something I don't do a lot. So, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna throw it all together and see what I can do. There's no promises, but I will bring you guys back and I'll show you whether or not it works or fails. All right, guys, we are here in spawn because I need to hit up a shop. This is the new map building, actually, I think that JT built. So everybody can put up their uh, bases. Here's JT's base. So we'll do a tour of his base sometime soon because he's got the most, like, completed base on the server. We gotta do this at some point. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get a map. It's, that's a problem though. We're underground. It's not really going to show much, but we'll do it just to uh, put our coordinates up and people can see the few things I do have up top. We're here to hit that fires uh, shop here while we're here to... Um, I need some coal blocks, and I know he sells them. Coal blocks. One diamond per 20 coal blocks. That sounds about right to me, so we'll take those. I have a design idea in mind so uh i think 
that should be right, right? Yeah. I need the coal block. So, um, yeah, I wanted to come out here and show you guys the, uh, the sale. Let's head on back. Alrighty, here it is. Got the uh, redstone portion done. So here's the idea. Okay, you get a sign. We have an idea. Like, we want to do... Uh, which is accurate, actually. So we're going to want to do a potion room at some point. We'll put it there. We'll go build the potion room. And then when the time comes, you flip the switch, pop the sign off, and you move on with your day. It's total This is totally unnecessary. <laughs> it's just not necessary at all. But it was fun to do. And I got to play with some redstone. Here it is. Um... Nothing really fancy. It's just, you know, the signals over here, you know, and it comes, signal comes down and runs up into the piston, fires off, you reset it. You had to, I had to put a block here to keep the redstone from crossing over each other. And then uh, I had to use, at some point, the signals were getting crossed between the two, uh, the top and bottom. So I used red, uh, redstone, I'm sorry, glowstone, because they're a clear block and redstone can go on top of them to uh, keep them from interacting with each other so this redstone comes there's the, the switch on the back of that comes around goes up into the piston and fires it off and then i put this block here so the they don't cross over each other you see they cross over each other and this doesn't fire anymore put it back oops like that and it fires back so there you go that's those so the idea i oh by the way i remember i went to buy the coal blocks um in the end, I preferred the obsidian. I think the obsidian looks better. Uh, I'm going to keep the coal blocks. I'm not going to run back over there and uh, take my money back from fire. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to fill... Actually, hmm. It's going to look very square because I was just going to put obsidian here. So let's try this. All right, now let's, uh, let's see what happens if we take this out this we push it back a little bit just to give it some type of depth you know what I mean so it's not like right on top of it is that too much do we do that maybe hmm maybe a different type of block there like a different color something to clean it up a little bit not clean it up but just so it's not so square you know what I mean or maybe we could even just come in like this can go up with a different type of block obviously yeah that might actually look bad to do that instead yeah I think we'll do that but uh, I don't know why I just use obsidian as a test block because now I have to break it all down but you live you learn all right here's the final product actually I'm a big fan of this uh, color palette I'm gonna be honest with you I think it looks really good it came out it came out pretty amazing in my opinion um, yeah, so let's, uh, how do I bring that back up there? I never remember. Okay, so I'm going to come up with a couple, but I, I would like for you guys, if you could, please, in the comments below, put down some, pra you know, some things I can do that make sense. Gi you know, giant penises on top of the base. That's not really what I'm looking for, even though it is funny. Uh, I'm going to put up a couple. I'm going to save some spots for you guys. I'll take the best ones and put them up here. Hopefully I get some good responses. Let's see. Um... Hmm. I like, uh, I did, like I said earlier, I definitely want to do a potion room. Potion room. Um, I want, I, my, okay. Building this, I had to run upstairs like three, four times just to get shit. So I want to make a temporary inventory space down here. So a temporary storage room down here. Okay, so we want to do a temp storage room. I also want to make an enchanting slash repair room. So we'll put that one up here. And, uh, geez, anything else I can think of off the top of my head? There's a ton of things I want to do. Um, hmm, that's all I can really think of, actually. Uh, I'll probably come up with more. And maybe the next episode we'll throw a couple more up there. But I hope to get to some of these in the next couple episodes. Um, I like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I do. Want, I think I might want to put a skylight in here. I think I want to put a skylight all over the place, to be honest with you. I want skylights everywhere. So this might be temporary. I might, what I might do is just where that obsidian square is, I might just take that out and put, um, sorry guys, and put um, pistons there 
for a retractable thing. Maybe I'll, I'll actually I'll have to use uh, something else at that point. Maybe uh, coal blocks. Yeah, coal blocks to uh, cause uh, you know sticky pistons don't work on uh, obsidian. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this episode. Freaking bats! I have killed like eighty of you people. Tell your people to get the frick away and stay away. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a comment and hit the like button. If you didn't, please let me know why. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.